For decades, the role of chief U.S. economists at big Wall Street firms has been predominantly held by men. But the gender disparity has grown even worse recently. Of the nearly two dozen financial institutions the Federal Reserve has designated as primary dealers and then employ a chief U.S. economist or equivalent, only one bank, Morgan Stanley, currently employs a woman in that job. While women occupy other key economics roles globally, the analysis highlights a broader issue. There is a shortfall of women in a position that is crucial to setting market expectations, steering conversation on subjects like inflation and the labor market, and ultimately shaping the views of the path of the U.S. economy. There are likely several reasons for this. One is that fewer women than men earn their master's in economics, a common credential for chief U.S. economists, leading to a smaller talent pipeline of women. Another, some women said that they were treated differently than their male peers, whether that be within the company or by clients. And third, the very nature of the job keeps some women from reaching for it in the first place. The travel schedule is demanding, and the lack of flexibility can make it particularly difficult for women who need to rely on childcare. There's no easy solution, but conversations with economists indicated the importance of mentorship, increasing awareness around these types of roles, more job flexibility, and curbing travel when possible could help.